Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be my Diversathon Reads video. Yes, I'll be sharing, showing you guys what I'll be reading for the Readathon. I don't normally participate in Readathons, but this one is different because it's for diverse books. And um, it doesn't have like a bunch of challenges and all that stuff that a lot of Readathons have, which I'm really, really excited about. It's just, you know, you pick the diverse books and you read them. And emphasis on the word diverse. Um, just because a book may have some diverse characters in it doesn't mean it's diverse. So um, yeah, just remember that. Be wise about what you're picking for this readathon. Um, I will link Christina's video below where she explains everything a lot much better than me and I will link the official Twitter page below. There will be hosts for it. It starts on Sunday and I'll be posting this on Saturday because I'm filming it on Saturday. Um, it starts on Sunday and it ends next Sunday. And um, I have two books right here that I will be showing you guys today. Yes, two. Just two. Because um, I've pretty much found that I can read two books in a whole week. And that's when the readathon takes place during the whole week. And I don't want to push myself to read a bunch. Um, so I picked these two and I'm really, really excited about these ones. So let's get to that. The first one is um, Hoodoo by Ronald L. Smith, and I've been wanting to read this one since I marked it as to read on Goodreads in 2015, and I've just been really, really itching to read this one. And as you can tell, it looks like it's gonna be a creepy book, and this one is, these both are middle grade, let me say that first, um, and they're both about African American characters. Um, yes, but Hoodoo is about this young boy who is uh, who, who grew up surrounded by hoodoo magic. His name's Hoodoo too as well. And it takes place in the 1930s in Alabama. And this man comes to town who everyone is sort of interested in. This man has a very weird interest in hoodoo. And hoodoo starts having these really weird dreams of like bodies rising from the ground and a really like creepy, creepy, scary stuff. And he doesn't know what's going on, so he's trying to figure out if maybe this man is um, has something to do with it, and can he stop it? So it sounds really great. And the about the last part right here says, set um, amid the swamps, red soil, and sweltering heat of a small town, Alabama, in the 1930s. Hoodoo is a vivid, voice-driven supernatural Southern Gothic tale infused with gentle humor. So this sounds like a really good time and I'm really really excited about it even the chapter headers are really nice looking I get those crows I love crows I love blackbirds and crows and ravens oh yes so yeah so I'm really excited about that one and then the next one is Unstoppable Octobia May by Sharon G Flake and the cover of this is absolutely beautiful. I just bought this one recently, maybe about two weeks ago, because it took two weeks to get here. Um, and I'm really, really excited about this one. It's beautiful. This is like a sneak peek to my uh, haul that's coming up, but it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it is. Um, this one takes place, oh, and it's yellow inside. And um, I'll show you all that in my haul. In the 1950s, I think in 1953, and it's about this girl named Octavia May, who goes to live with her aunt at her aunt's boarding house where there are a bunch of older elderly people and she um, figures out that there maybe might be a vampire in the boarding house living in the boarding house and um, so she wants to solve this mystery and I'm just really, really excited about this um, on the bottom right here it says in this wholly unique novel award-winning author Susan G Flake takes us on a heart pumping journey of one of one unstoppable girl's quest for truths that explore issues of race, community, and the impact of war and secrets best left buried deep in the ground. So this sounds like a good time. I'm really excited about this one. Yes. Oh, yeah. And she won the Coretta Scott King Honor Award for her book, The Skin I'm In. And I forgot to mention that Hoodoo won the Coretta Scott King Award for New Talent last year in 2016 so two award-winning books really really excited about these ones and they're both short too as well so this is going to be a great time so i'm really excited about these but yeah so i will see you guys next time with another video it will more than likely be my um book that's video for the wizard's dog and yeah so i really hope you guys are also participating in this readathon i didn't get to the first time around because it was really busy but this time around I'm really excited that I'm able to participate. 
so yes so i will see you guys next time with another video i just said that again i'm sleepy right now it's three o'clock in the morning and i'm filming a video i'm sleepy um i will put everything below for you guys to you know check out and yeah so i will see you guys bye